2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Knot Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Yes, what lessons have they learned in defeat? If you learn lessons in defeat and can turn into a victory, well, you never lost, did you? And let's see what he can do here today. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And Henny, what's he looking at here? This is looking around 115 yards out. This should play. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Good looking shot this. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. <laughs> Nicely done. Nine feet to the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. I like the look of this. That will work. On a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Now a par five hole awaits. Tee shot is looking good here. From about 200 yards out. Going with the hybrid. Outstanding shot, high quality. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Wow, what a save. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. Oh, that's frustrating. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. 
Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Currently at three under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, almost went in. And they'll tap this in for birdie. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Opting for the five wood. They've decided to club up. Oh, happy days ahead. A hole in one. Can you believe it? Well, that's certainly worth another look. Hole in one. What a shot. What a celebration. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Oh, that one just missed the hop. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Luke, the, coming off that ace, this player is just absolutely on top of the world right now, and they have really got to focus in, settle their nerves before this next shot. Well played, mate. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. And choosing the eight iron here. Wow, what happened there? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Trailing by seven after that hole. Here at the Huckleberry Country Club, the seventh hole is a good par four, measuring just under 450 yards. Look with water down the right-hand side. Most players are going to be taking a driver out and bailing down the left-hand side. Maybe something less to avoid that fairway bunker down there. Still a fairly generous fairway from there. Second shot plays downhill. Oh, about a half a club. Generous size green, bunkers kind of dotting all sides of it, but not overly difficult. I think you see a fair amount of birdies here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Oh, he's trying to silence the young buck, Will Zalatoris, with that one. 
Really putting his cards out on the table. Brilliant stuff. This would be a great up and down. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Great touch. An opportunity for a birdie here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Going with the seven. Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, stop it. What a shot. There's part of about six feet coming up. This for back to back birdies. It's looking solid. Wonderful shot. And that will take him to eight under. He's currently tied for 11th. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. This putt to get to double digits under the card. A great opportunity here. This for Eagle. by the hole oh what a shame that would have been a nice one to hole this putt is for a spot inside the top 10 
Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Oh, terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hole it? And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Well, Rich, we're heading into our final nine holes here, but I tell you what, I'm thinking about that ace this player made on that front nine. What a ripper. I, I tell you, it, it's hard to forget it, isn't it? What a moment. What a, what a shot. Incredible stuff. Let's see if they can calm themselves down for the final nine. Wonderfully played. Sitting at minus nine for the day. In a share of eighth position. Going with the eight iron here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. And this putt to move into the top five. Starts off on a good line. That's a great putt and an eagle as well. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. He finds himself currently in fifth. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Well, this 11th hole, Rich, at the Huckleberry Country Club makes you feel like there's a chance to get a birdie on the card. Absolutely. I love this tee shot. Plays straight downhill. You see a picturesque lake in the background right there. So it's always difficult to judge exactly how far your tee shot's going to end up. Lay it up just a little bit more than you think in order to avoid that water. Second shot, continually downhill. Bunker's short and right of it. Not really going to come into play. Love this hole. Love the fact that birdie is a definite possibility. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Currently 12 under for the round. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, that was a safe play. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop. But that looked good the whole way. Let's get back to it, shall we? And this part to move into a share of first place. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on.
He finds himself in a share of the lead. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. That's nicely done. Around 110 yards to go. Currently tied for the lead. Choosing the 9-iron here. This one is all over it. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. That should find the cut stuff. This shot from around the 200 yard marker. He leads the field by a stroke. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hole your putt. Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Lining up the birdie putt here. That will drop, and it will extend the lead. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Birdied their last hole. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We've arrived at a par four. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 15th. You like that, didn't you? It's just about three feet away. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Currently three strokes up after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Currently leading by three. Chosen the pitching wedge here. 
Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That was a beauty right against the hole. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Birdies aren't the order of the day here at the Huckleberry Country Club. It's a good par three, measuring 207 from the back tees. Just hitting the greens, a good start, Rich. It really is. I love how this green is designed, though, on this long par three. Everything works back towards the center. It's all about distance control with this tee shot. Look, if you hit it the right distance, I promise you, you're going to have a really good opportunity to make a deuce. You see that one just drip back on the flag. Uh, great shot. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. And with that hole behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Nicely done. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Going with the five iron here. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Oh, so close. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And just a little bit of work was all that was required to complete that.